welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it is time for another whiskey review, and I have one I am so excited to bring you, so excited to have this bottle right here in front of me, the Penelope Rio. It has been so hyped up. So many people have been talking about this. Everybody's been looking for it. Everybody's been searching for it. But is it worth the hype? Well, I'm gonna give you my review and let you know what I think. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching, for liking, for subscribing, for commenting, for doing everything. I really, 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 really appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Now, cheers to you. Let's dive into this thing. So like I said, it is the Penelope Rio, comes in at 98 proof. This is the newest release from Penelope in the Cooper series. This one is a straight bourbon whiskey finished in honey and Amburana barrels. It's a double cask finish. All right, so enough, enough of the talking, right? It's time to get into the drinking. So here we go. Let's talk about this on the nose. Holy moly. You will definitely be like hit in the face right away with a lot of smells. Like this is intense. Wow. On the nose, this one is an intense honey, intense cinnamon. It's literally like a graham cracker. Like, you know, those honey made cinnamon graham crackers. Somebody just took some honey and drizzled it all over the top of it. It smells very sweet and very unique. It smells like biscuits and vanilla honey, caramel, cinnamon, just cinnamon toast crunch, and honey. It's fantastic on the nose. The nose is like very, very unique because you're not, I've never smelled any nose like this. Like I've smelled honey finishes, I've smelled amburana finishes, but together, wow, the nose is like, ah! yeah, crazy on the nose. All right, let's taste it. Whoa. That is intense, that is rich, that is slap you, slap you in the face. Slap you in the face with flavor. That is loaded with flavor. That is a flavor bomb. That is the honey, that is the cinnamon. It's very rich with that cinnamon. Like super, super rich, brown sugar, honey, cinnamon. Very, very rich all the way through. And then on the very back end, like when it feels like it might start to get a little too sweet, then it just pow in the face with like a cinnamon, like a red cinnamon bear. Yeah, those red cinnamon bears. And then the finish just lingers. That cinnamon finish lingers. Let me take another sip. Wow. I've just never tasted anything like this. To me, this has the uniqueness of barrel seagrass. And I feel like that's an interesting way to compare it because barrel seagrass is a rye. It tastes completely different. To me, barrel seagrass tastes like a, like a yellow spree, like the spree chewy candies. To me, this is pure honey cinnamon bear with like, if you literally took a honey made graham cracker that like the cinnamon kind, if you've ever had those, they're so good, covered in cinnamon, and then you drizzled a bunch of honey on top of it, and then you stuck a red cinnamon bear on it, drizzled more honey on top of it, that's what you get out of this. This is super unique. If you do not like honey, if you do not like cinnamon, then it's probably not gonna be your cup of tea. To me, this is insanely sweet, which is surprising that I like it so much, but it has enough of that cinnamon in it for me to carry it through. Let me take one more sip here. It's fantastic, it really is. And that is why I'm gonna give this four quarks out of five. I love it, I think it's great. Now you might be wondering to yourself, well, if she likes it so much, why is she only giving it four quarks out of five? Well, I'm giving it four quarks out of five because I feel like it's, it's just so unique. And if I wanted to have more than a couple pours of this at a time, it might be too much. Like, think about wine. If you, I heard this from someone the other day. Someone was talking to me about the Rio and they were saying, you know, do you like wine? I'm like, oh, I like wine, it's fine, but I prefer whiskey. But if you think about wine, like a regular, like say you're gonna have a cab. Say you're gonna have a cab. If you have a port, a port is way different. Port's still good, cab's still good, but port is your dessert wine. It's very sweet, very rich, very thick. And that's what I get out of this. This is the dessert whiskey, the ultimate dessert whiskey. 
love it. Again, four corks out of five. This is fantastic. I love what Penelope is doing. I'm so excited for what they're doing. And this is just insanely good. Love it. Wouldn't recommend it if you don't like honey or cinnamon. Would highly recommend it if you like either one of those. So that's my review for the Penelope Rio. Let me know if you've tried it. Let me know what your thoughts are on this wild pour. And I love the color of the label. That's like one of my favorite colors. Anyways, let me know what you think. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.